Hello, and welcome to another Hawkridge Systems video. Have you ever wondered how to make a helical coil such as a spring inside of SOLIDWORKS? If you've tried to make one using the standard sketching tools, you would have found this to be a very time consuming and a very tedious process. Luckily, there is a special feature called the Helix and Spiral. My name is Nikki Stakic, and in today's video, we'll take a look at this hidden gem that makes springs and helical coil cuts easy to make inside of SOLIDWORKS. So let's take a look at how quick and easy this is to do in SOLIDWORKS. First, I'll start sketching on my top plane and simply draw a circle. I'll define the circle with an 80 millimeter diameter and I will exit out of the sketch. The helix and spiral feature is not easily found in the command manager, so I'll need to use my search command bar in the top right corner to look for it. I'll simply type in helix and it should come up. Once it's activated, it automatically selected the circle that I just sketched, and I will just change my view to an isometric view to make the preview easier to see. There's different types of ways of how we can define the helix, either using a pitch and revolution definition, a height and revolution, or a height and pitch, and I can also select the spiral option. We can also specify whether we want to have a constant pitch or a variable pitch. For this instance, I'm going to use the constant option. We'll change the pitch to 40, which is the distance between each coil, and I can specify how many revolutions I'd like to have. You can easily go back in and change this at any time. I can also specify the starting angle and also whether the coil is moving clockwise or counterclockwise. With the click of a button, I've now created my helix. Now, in order to create this into a full solid or to use it as a swept cut, I just need to use the sweep feature in order to complete this coil. I'll switch over into the Features tab in the Command Manager and select my Swept Boss Base feature. I'll change my profile to Circular and select the Helix and Spiral in the Graphics area. I can also control the diameter of this helix. I'll save it as 10 and I now have my 3D spring. Now if I wanted to make any changes to this Helix and Spiral, I can simply go back in and edit the feature. So let's go ahead and change it from a pitch and revolution option to a spiral option. You'll automatically see the preview update and I will simply accept the new changes. I hope this video was informative in showing you how quick and easy it is to make springs and spirals inside of SOLIDWORKS. We only needed to do three simple steps. Create a circular sketch, select the helix and spiral feature, and then create a swept boss or cut. One more side note that I would like to add is that the Helix and Spiral feature is actually located in the Features tab underneath Curves. However, if it's something that you're using on a regular basis, you can add it as a shortcut into your Command Manager so it's easily accessible. The way that we can do that is if I click on the drop-down menu next to the Options, I can select Customize, switch over to the Shortcuts bar, and select in the drop-down menu Curves. In here, you can find the Helix and Spiral feature and simply drag it and drop it into your command manager up top. That way, in the future, it's much easier to access it whenever you need it. Thank you for watching and good luck with your springy creations inside of SOLIDWORKS. Make sure to check out the rest of our videos on our YouTube channel.